I think therefore I am, is a famous philosophical statement by René Descartes, a French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist. This phrase is also known as the cogito ergo sum, which is Latin for I am thinking, therefore I exist. Descartes was trying to prove the existence of the self and to establish a foundation for knowledge. Descartes' philosophy is often referred to as rationalism, which means that knowledge can be obtained through reason and logic. In his search for a foundation for knowledge, Descartes realized that he could not trust his senses as they could deceive him. For example, he might be dreaming, and his senses would still provide him with information that he believed to be real. Therefore, Descartes concluded that the only thing he could be certain of was that he was thinking. He could doubt everything else, but he could not doubt that he was thinking. Descartes used this conclusion as the foundation for his philosophy, arguing that because he was thinking, he must exist. Descartes' argument goes like this. I am thinking, therefore I exist. He concluded that he could not doubt his existence because he must exist because he must exist to be able to doubt. In other words, the act of thinking proves that one exists. Therefore, the statement I think, therefore I am, is a self-evident truth. This idea is essential to Descartes' philosophy because it provides a foundation for knowledge that is not based on sensory experience. Descartes believed that knowledge obtained through reason and logic was more reliable than knowledge obtained through the sense. The cogito ergo sum was a starting point for his philosophical investigation and a way to establish a foundation for knowledge that was not based on sensory experience. In conclusion, I think, therefore I am, is a famous philosophical statement by René Descartes that asserts the existence of the self. It is a self-evident truth that provides a foundation for knowledge that is not based on sensory experience. This statement is significant because it establishes a foundation for knowledge that is more reliable than knowledge obtained through the senses.